Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a quick overview of the Zalman CNPS 5X CPU heatsink fan. So first let's take a look at what we have here on the box. They are showing us easy installation. The fan has PWM control. It is a three heat pipe design. It also has a hydraulic bearing fan and a one year warranty is included. On the back here we can see a quick demonstration of the heat pipes up here at the top. Uh, they're showing you how you can change the settings on the mounting brackets so you can fit 1156, 1155, or 775 sockets for Intel. It also supports socket AM2, AM2+, and AM3 for AMD CPUs, and it uses an easy push pin installation design. As you can see over here, there is a picture of the entire heatsink fan. Um, they're showing you the fan as well as the uh, differentiated design, which is a slightly different design than you see from most of the uh, tower designed skyscraper CPU coolers that are out these days and also that they've included some Zalman thermal paste for installation. Uh, finally uh, it is made of copper and aluminum it is 127 millimeters long 64 millimeters wide and 134 millimeters high weighs 320 grams and some other information 92 millimeter fan size hydraulic bearing 1400 to 2800, 2800 RPM and 20 to 32 decibel uh, sound. Also a four pin CPU fan connector and again, as mentioned, PW, PWM control on that fan. So that being said, let's take it out of the box. All right, so first off, you are given a user's manual, giving you clearly defined instructions for how to install your CPU heatsink fan, front and back. There it is. Heatsink fan Oop. is a little bit stuck in the package. Oh, that's the bracket. There we go. There's one of the installation brackets. There's some more installation mounting hardware. These are the little push pins that it comes with, as well as your Zal Zalman thermal grease for installing onto your CPU. And there is, is the CPU heatsink fan itself. Clamshell packaging. Fortunately, not the kind that you have to cut yourself to get open. All right, so there's a close up look of the heatsink fan itself. There's your 92 millimeter fan. These are aluminum fins uh, for dispersing heat. And then you have your copper base plate and three copper heat pipes. Here is your power cable coming off. This is a four pin CPU plug to uh, enable the PWM functions of that cooling fan that you have on there. And finally, of course, we have the different mounting solutions that are available. Um, this will work for, as mentioned, both the AM2, AM2 Plus, and AM3 CPUs. For that, you have just these standard two clips here that uh, work with the built-in bracket that's on an AMD mounting solution for a CPU heatsink fan. And all you really have to do for AMD is uh, you loosen this bolt right here. These brackets on the side have two different positions that they can be at. Um, you bump it out one to fit AMD, and you bump it in to fit for the Intel mounting solution. And those brackets just latch on and hold it down against the AMD bracket. Uh, for Intel, they have a slightly different mounting solution. They've provided you with this little ring here. The little ring will actually mount onto an Intel motherboard to fit both 1156 or 1155 socket motherboards or also socket 775. And uh, I believe, but I should double check, uh, this is not rated for 1366 socket motherboards, but 1155 or 1156. The great thing about this, I tested it out just a second ago, and it's actually set up so you do not need to remove your motherboard from your computer uh, in order to install it. Um, you don't even need an uh, opening on your, on your cases, and uh, I just have a quick demonstration to show here with this Intel motherboard. This is a socket 1155 motherboard. As you can see, this just lines up right over the four mounting holes on the socket. Um, if you're using 775, each of these little nubs in here has two positions and you rotate it around like that to 775 or you spin it back around to this side for 1155 or 1156. Once that's rotated to the right spot, that'll just make sure that it lines up correctly with these mounting holes on the motherboard tray. And then on the bottom, you have to see really close there, uh, each of these actually has a little spacer. And that spacer fits down through the hole on your mounting, mounting socket. 
and then you simply use the provided little plastic pins to push down once it's lined up and it pops in just like that. That splits open this spacer here at the bottom so it stays uh, nice and secure underneath and that's just popped right down in there and secure and that holds it on. So you pretty much do that in four places and then you use the same little uh, bracket latches that you do with AMD to fit over the side, you can see, uh, of each of those uh, catches on the little mounting bracket. So a nice, uh, convenient, pretty simple to use solution for mounting, especially on the Intel brackets and um, staying compatible with the various different socket sizes for that. So uh, the three things that most people want to know about with a CPU cooler are how do you mount it, uh, what is the thermal performance, and how loud it is. Uh, we can't really test thermal performance today, unfortunately, but there's an example of how you mount it. And last but not least, we're going to plug this in real quick and see uh, how loud the fan is at the different speeds that are available. Right. So just to make sure nothing goes awry, we have a 1,350 watt power supply, which should be more than enough to power our single 92 millimeter fan. But we're just routing that through a uh, fan controller here that we have so we can test the different speeds. It is spinning up. Ooh. Plenty of fan movement. And uh, that, that's at maximum speed right there. So we just crank it back up to max. And uh, that is not very loud at all. I'll see if I can get it right up here next to my mic. Yeah, definitely nice and quiet CPU fan there. So there it is, all up and running, although it is vibrating a little bit on the desk here. And then definitely if you, I'm going to turn it down to about 50% there. And yeah, they, I can barely hear that at all. So definitely nice, quiet fan as well on this CPU heatsink fan from Zalman. So if you're interested in a nice, CPU heatsink fan for your socket, uh, AM2, AM2+, plus, AM3, 1155, 1156, or 775 socket motherboard, this is definitely a great option. This has been the Zalman CNPS 5X CPU heatsink fan. I'm Paul from Newegg TV. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.